Cool. This is dope. All right. Welcome to the daily recap. Gonna look at where price went, what liquidity pulls price took, and what liquidity pulls prices to target. Uh, we're gonna look at the ranges, of course. We're gonna look at structure. Um, so let's just start with that. It's a bit messy over here, but can we see if we zoom in? Oh, that's a lot. If we zoom in a little bit. So, uh, that's in fun. Uh, All right. So on Friday, what can we see? We can see this is Friday's candle, big wig to the downside. Then coming into Monday, we took our previous weekly highs, previous daily highs. Strong push to the downside, and now we can see the pre after New York price is continuing down. So, um, what happened with range? We are still inside the, the premium, or not even well, we are deep in the premium, but we can go even deeper into the premium over bearish range. And we also in the premium, so to say, of our bullish ranges. We took liquidity um, internal, so we can target external range liquidity. Um, and yeah, so we can see price coming down lower. And that's what, what what's happening right now. Coming into the four hour. Wait, let me just, oh, perfect. All right. Now it looks like I'm looking up, but that's all right. So Monday, New York open, strong push to the downside. Then correctional. Today we didn't move that much. Oh, sorry. We didn't move that much. We just stayed inside this range. Uh, we built up liquidity to the downside. We built up some liquidity to the upside. And if we go down lower to the 50 minute, what can we see? Now we can recap today. So this is our most recent bullish range. What happened? We took the internal range liquidity, came into the discount, came into the 50 minute PY, formed Asia low, uh, formed Asia highs, formed Asia low. Then this morning, first we took Asia lows. Uh, we had this structure going on. Therefore, I couldn't class this as early buyers, but I classed this as my early buyers and waited for the structure just to continue. Then I waited for price to take out <coughs> previous daily lows. And as you can see, we had this five minute um, order block over here. Take out the fifth, take away the 50 minute because don't need that. And just above the uh, five minute, we had this one minute unmitigated area or one minute uh, for value gap. And as we can see, price uh, reacted perfectly from that during Frankfurt Open, gave a bullish break of structure. Then what happened? We took some internal range liquidity, but this is our first time coming into the discount of this bullish one minute range from high, low down to high, up to high. So therefore, this wasn't the best buy, maybe. However, it's according to my plan. I risked a half a percent here. Then I fell asleep, so I missed this trade. I set a limit, but deleted it just before I went to sleep. Stupid, but good lesson, though. Then what happens? So we took uh, session high, just session lows, daily lows. So liquidity taken. Going up higher. Let's make this just a line. And call this previous day low. And let's turn this back into Asia low. So it's more clean. Then we got, we came up from equals, came down. So we got equals to target and we got Asia high to target. Hmm. And what happens? We can see the price um, had some early sellers just before the equals. But just before taking the equals. Oh, if we go down lower again, my bet. <clears throat> Early sellers just before taking the equals. Why? Inducing more sellers into the market that are trying to sell from this area. 
This is also a nice support and resistance area, but that's for another time. Oh, shit. Is it still recording? Yeah, it is. Okay. Then, price took out the equals. What is this line? What? All right. Price took out the equals. Price took out Asia high. Then we reacted from a 15 minute POI over here. Why can we look for sales over here? Because we took Asia highs. We took, we take London highs. Yes, we took the London highs as well. That was part of those equals. So we have this order block. Or POI, whatever you want to call it. And if I'm correct, it's it's just in this. Nah. That's that's one thing that take me off because we have this low, high, higher, low, higher, high break structure as well inside this. So maybe the sell from a discount would have made sense sense. Uh from a premium, but we never reached the premium of that most recent bearish range. That's right. Then we have this five minute. Ooh, that's a strong. Just a strong move after that. So this is our five minute. Again, take this out because it's not relevant for now. Then let's investigate why this is a strong POI. Maybe there's a strong one minute POI inside there. No, I don't think it's up in there. We don't. It's just. Just a strong move after that. We took out these this trend line over here. Uh, we took out this internal high. But sorry, except for that, that's it. And we got this over here. We got some early sellers. Oh. Bro, really need to zoom in more. So yeah, we got some early sellers over here and then we broke further down. And then that's this is the last, last place of order flow, the last place. So yeah, a five minute POI. What else can we see coming down lower? So we got our early sellers over here. Let's target Asia highs for this one or the 50 minute POI. Nice ones. Let's just turn it shots. Okay. So we got London lows equals over here. Nice target. As you can see, just below the after taking it out, we got a little move up and can continuation down. Where did the real move come from? So over here, let's take this off because we discussed the longs. Previous daily low taken, Asia low taken up, Asia high taken, London high taken, equals taken. Internal liquidity take and sell some internal liquidity to target up here. Okay. Oh. Then we have a five minute POI over here to the extreme. However, we are bullish. So we get a high, low, and we got this range. 
Personally, I would only look for cells here, not here. Why not here? First of all, because this is way more impulsive. Second of all, this is outside of my trading time. And third, we have the bullish range still going on. We have here, and it uh, lines up where there's a realignment of with this high time frame range. So they're both bullish. So therefore, I wouldn't look for shorts here. However, if we can spot an entry drill over here, we can look for shorts. And actually, we can see over here that um, we still had to reach a discount. And this is our first place where we reach discount. And we know that like this is a trap move or usually is a trap move. So therefore, we have high. Let's make it blue. High, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Then we have our five minute POI. And what else do we have? Do we have our entry drill? That's the real question. Mm -hmm. No. You could maybe class this as your early sellers. bit hard to see though then you have some unmitigated areas over here then you have your break of structure low high high low high high just about break of structure entry candle so this could be a short maybe but hmm, not i wouldn't take this because I want to see early sellers on the way up to my towards my POI. Okay. Then this is more clean. Not really any form of early sellers though. Early sellers here, early sellers taken out. Nothing there. Early sellers taken out, break structure, maybe continuation trade from this block. It's not the cleanest uh, PA, in my opinion. And I remember, I like shorts, so. Could like take this as a continuation trade. Three point three, three point eight, five. Now I'm gonna look in the group and see because. I think someone cut it short and I want to see what he did. Yeah, he classed this. Okay, so he classed this as early sellers. Why? I don't know, but sure. Interesting. Then price came into this block. Then we get the break structure. Use this block as an entry. Very interesting, very strange choice. And then stop about this. Okay, there's no trade for me, period. It's just not my PA, no. It's not clean enough for me to enter from. Okay, okay. <clears throat> then we reach the discount. And we tap into our five minute POI over here, or 15 minute, my bet.
let's just take this one away for now. And following this range that's realigned with the high time frame range, we look for longs. So what can we see over here? High, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, break of structure. This black takes up this one over here. So we got our early buyers. This is my early buyers. We got a very intricate one here as well. Now I'm curious if that reaches the discount. Doesn't, okay. So this is the break. And again, there's no entry for me. Well, no, 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 hold up. So, nope, no, there isn't. You could like class this as your minor break, but then you have this block where you get a strong reaction from. So you really want to say this being taken out. This is not taken out. This is just weak and true, like strongly taken out like this. And then look for long and then price never came back because then you could have like maybe took it from this block. So this is the last unmitigated block. But it's not the strongest. Something like that. Oh, unfortunate. Nice uh, price action towards the POI and then after mitigating the POI, it's shit. And it's outside of my trading time anyway. And then what happened after that? We continued down bearish. Let's take off these structures because it's all messy. Take that, that one. No, uh, that one, yes, this one, this one, this one, this one. There's a shortcut for it. Option. Oh. Okay. Very good, very nice. Previously low, previously low taken. Previously high is not taken. We took out that five thing of POI. Why is it suddenly so laggy? So yeah, we're still working within this range. We now have this bearish range going on. I don't know where it will stop, but this is now our most recent bearish range. So we can work with that. If we get an entry drill, also depending on liquidity, because we got our New York highs over here, and probably this will be our previous daily high as well. So got to be careful with that and see what price gives us tomorrow. This was like a recap. I discussed, um, well, why can we go lower? That's very important as well. We got this going on. We got these lows over here. And of course, we got the lows over here. And then zooming out further. So we got like trend line inside a range, inside a trend line range. Then we get another trend line inside a range. And then we got another trend line down here inside a range. Or this one includes the ranges, the range. So yeah.
let's see. There's, but there's enough reason to go lower. Um, momentum wise, what can we see on the four hour now? I think we can. We're strong to the downside. Yeah. So the previous four hours was a strong close. Let's see what Asia does tonight. And maybe we can look for sales here tomorrow. December is a busy month. I don't I have to be somewhere tomorrow at 10 a.m. 9 a.m. UK time. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Anyways, thanks for watching the recap. Peace up, eight town.